Now, even though we haven't gone into classes in Ruby yet, I do want to show you something uh, that kind of deals with it. It's the difference between a class method and an instance method. And so can, you can ignore the, uh, the class syntax for right now. Uh, it's, I'm going to keep it very basic, and then later on we'll get into how they work on a more detailed level. But I'm just going to call this a class of, we'll say class of invoice right here. And that's all we're going to have to worry about as far as the class is concerned. And I'm going to create two different methods. One is going to be def self dot print out and this is just going to both of these are just going to return a string I'm not worried about behavior right now I'm worried about how to call them and how to uh, how to uh, the difference between calling an instance method and a class method so here I'm gonna say print it out invoice okay and this next one I'm gonna say def and convert to PDF convert it to PDF and put anything there okay so these are our methods and these are how you declare them now this uh, this self dot print out one I'm gonna add comments here and I'm gonna say this is a class method and this is an instance method just so you are aware of which one is which you can see the only difference in syntax is I put self dot print out right here now the way you call a class in uh, there's a few ways to call a class in Ruby and the way we're going to for the first one is how you call a, a class with a class method so I'm gonna say invoice dot print out and I'm just going to hit run and you can see it returns printed out invoice now if I try to do invoice dot convert to PDF it says undefined method convert to PDF so right here the difference is when you are declaring and calling a class when you use a class method you can just use a dot syntax and have uh, and have that method run and with an instance method you have to create a new instance of that class so I'm gonna say I equals invoice dot new and then I which this is uh, and uh, we'll get into this more when we're getting into classes and object oriented programming but what this is doing is it's uh, creating a new instance of this invoice class and it's storing it in the I variable and now I can do I dot convert to PDF hit run and it converted it to PDF now what happens if I try to run print out here hit run undefined method print out so the difference in it the, the terminology makes it pretty easy to remember a class method can be called just on top of the class itself so the class method can easily be called just by invoice dot and then whatever the method name is a instance method it is required that you create a new instance of that class in order to be able to call it. Uh, I also could shortcut it a little bit and say invoice dot new dot convert to PDF and this would work. But this kind of gets uh, uh, you're not really going to see this in a real life application because what would you do it this way uh, wouldn't it just make more sense to convert this instance method to a uh, to a class method and then you could call it like this you know that so you're not really going to see this the traditional way is uh, is the way that I showed you in the beginning where you store the instance in a variable and then that 
variable is uh, can be used to call this. Now you may wonder why in the world would I ever want to use an instance method when the class method is so much easier to do. And the big one of the big reasons why is this is a very very basic class. Uh, you may have a class that has 15 methods in it and you don't want to keep creating a new uh, you don't want to instantiate this method or this class every single time so uh, say that you had a bunch of uh, methods here like method one you know you don't want to do something like this this is this would be really bad Ruby programming right here uh, to call all these methods like this it would be a lot better if you had all those methods and you just stored uh, you created a new instance of the method and then you can then call those instance methods just like this and that way you're not creating a new instance of the class every single time uh, you are simply calling on the same instance and then uh, running each one of those methods so that's what the difference is and you'll start to see the purpose behind it when we start to build out some real world uh, object oriented type programs uh, but this is kind of an introduction so you can get an idea on the different types of methods that are available inside of classes how to call them them, uh, what you need to do to make sure they don't throw errors and things like that.